Hi everyone, I'm Ken with Orion and this is the SkyQuest 6-inch Classic Dobsonian. It's a 6-inch diameter reflector on a Dobsonian base and Dobsonians are my personal favorite for viewing the night sky. Uh, they're point and shoot. You just push them where you want to go, let go, and you're there. Um, it's probably the best bang for your buck because you can get a large aperture telescope on a very simple base uh, for the money. 6 inches is uh, big enough and bright enough to see not only the moon and planets, but also lots of deep sky objects, uh, all the Messier objects, which are a collection of deep sky objects like uh, nebulae, galaxies, star clusters. And this particular telescope comes with a 25 millimeter plossel and a uh, Orion reflex uh, site, a zero power reflex site. Hello, I'm Kent from Orion Telescopes, and this is the SkyQuest XT 4.5 Dobsonian. It's a four and a half inch reflector on a Dobsonian base, so what that means is you've got two motions, up and down, left and right, and it runs on uh, smooth Teflon bearings, so you get a nice, accurate and smooth motion, uh, even at high power, to follow something. Four and a half inch aperture is good for uh, easily seeing detail on the planets, the rings of Saturn, uh, a cloud belt or two on Jupiter, as well as the moons around Jupiter. And on deep sky objects, this is bright enough to see all the Messier objects, which includes some uh, nebula, some galaxies, uh, and lots of star clusters. It comes with two eyepieces, a 25 and a 10 millimeter, and you also have a 6 by uh, 26 finder scope to help locate those objects. Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes, and this is the XT10 Classic Dobsonian. It's a 10-inch reflector on a Dobsonian base, so that means it swivels up and down, left and right. Very simple, very intuitive. Uh, this is one of the best bangs for your buck for visual astronomy. If you want to see nebulae, galaxies in very good detail, a 10-inch reflector pulls in a lot of light, uh, not to mention the moon and planets, too, so the rings of Saturn, cloud belts on Jupiter are excellent with a scope like this. Um, if you're thinking of one of the Dobsonians and you're thinking about an 8-inch and wondering if this might be a better choice, well, it's about 20 pounds heavier than our 8-inch, but it pulls in about 56% more light, so there is a pretty significant jump in what you can see. It comes with a couple of accessories. It comes with a finder scope. It's our Easy Finder 2. It's a reflex sight. So when you look through it, you see a little dot floating on the object. Just line the dot up with what you want to see, and it'll be in the eyepiece. Uh, speaking of eyepieces, it comes with a 25-millimeter plossel, and you get a two-inch Crayford focuser, so you can add on any number of different eyepieces, two-inch or inch and a quarter, uh, to suit your viewing needs. So like I said, this is one of the best bangs for the buck in the hobby, and 10-inch pulls in a lot of light for a lot of very faint deep sky objects. Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and in this video we're looking at the SkyQuest X-T8 Classic uh, Dobsonian Telescope. It's an 8-inch reflector on a Dobsonian base, and Dobsonian just refers to the, uh, the style of the base, left and right, up and down. Very simple movements, very easy for beginners to use, uh, very simple setup, no complicated uh, polar lining necessary. It's just a great telescope for the family or for the beginner that just wants a really nice view of pretty much everything that's out there in the night sky. Eight inches is big enough to see all sorts of detail. Uh, not only the moon and planets, you've got a lot of light grasp, so deep sky objects, nebulae, galaxies, star clusters, they're, they're all within the reach of an eight-inch telescope. It always helps if you get away from the light pollution of a big city, but there, is, there are thousands of objects uh, available in the night sky that are within reach of a telescope like this. It comes with a couple of accessories. Um, it's a two-inch Crayford focuser. Comes with one eyepiece, a 25 millimeter plossel, and a zero-power finder scope to help aim the, the telescope. 
the, the, the focuser is my favorite part. It's two inches, so you can add on uh, two inch eyepieces to get a very wide field of view, great for those really big uh, deep sky objects. So anyways, the Orion SkyQuest XT8 Classic. Thank you very much, Clear Skies. Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Orion Telescopes and this is the SkyQuest 8-inch Intelescope Dobsonian. It's an 8-inch reflector on a Dobsonian base and 8 inches is large enough to get into a lot of deep sky objects as well as the moon and planets. So uh, nebulae, galaxies, star clusters are all within the range of this telescope. Now it's not an average Dob in that it comes with a computer system built onto the base. So the idea is you punch in what you want to see and it will tell you where to go. It, it's still manual, but it gives you directions and an arrow and, and uh, how far to go to find, center, and uh, follow an object. Um, so it makes it very simple to find things in the sky. It comes with two eyepieces, a 25 and a 10 millimeter plossel, and a 9 by 50 finder scope, big enough to see a lot of the fainter objects. If you're interested in buying one of these products, links to all the products mentioned in this video are in the description down below. If you like and found this video helpful, don't forget to give a like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.